This is Dr. Mr. Wells. For those who do not know how to transact on stocks on Bybit, this video is for you. Okay. Now you must understand that all these centralized exchanges they have almost the same interface: Binance, Bybit, KuCoin, and OKS, Bitfinex, and others. Okay. They have almost the same interface. Almost the same interface. All right. So now, if you want to buy and or sell a particular token on Bybit, okay, on Bybit, on Bybit, it's very simple. As you can see, I have just about twenty-two dollars here, USDT, okay. All right. So now there are two options you have if you want to buy. And or sell spot on Bybit. The first option is the market option, right? The second option is the trade option. So you either click on market or you click on trade. Now let's start with um, market. Okay, let's assume I want to buy Solana. All right, I'll click on market. Click on market. Okay, you can see um, here favorite spot derivatives data and co now derivatives is the same thing as futures on bybit now what we want to do is talk assuming when you came here all right the derivatives or the data is the one that is um on on white color all right it means the um, pairs we are seeing here, they are futures derivatives um, pairs. But let's go back to sports, okay? Because that is what we are interested in now. So let's assume you want to buy Solana, right? Or any other token. The same process you used to buy one or used to sell one. That is the same process you can use to buy and or sell any other token here. So you can just you can see the search. Um, icon there click on it you can type that is solana solana all right now you can see the first option is solana usdt usdt perpetual it means this one is for futures we are not interested in this okay this one is solana usdt spot good solana usdc spot good solana pep, um, pep. US, um, US, Solana USDC PEP. We are not interested in that again. Solana BTC spot. And what I have, the two dollars I have there is Solana USDT. All right. If what I have is Solana Solana USDC, I'm going to go with this one. But what I have is Solana USDT, so I'm going to go with this. So what do I do next? I'll click on it. Okay. Click on it. Good. That is the first way you can use to buy and sell. Don't worry, we'll still talk about this interface. The second way you can buy or sell um, on spot is to click on trade here. Here, all right? Click on trade. All right? Here you are seeing this pair. Click on it as well. So you can search for the particular pair you want. So you can let's still continue to Solana. But it is here. Alright, let's assume it is not here and we're not seeing it. You can just come here and search again. Solana USDT. You can see the um pairs that um we have. So perpetual, no. This is futures. So USDT spots, USDT this is spot, no. Good, all these are spots, alright? All these ones are spot. Okay, so now, like um, we did earlier on, we are, I have USDT, so I'm going to click on this. Good. Now, this interface is here again. All right? Good. Now, what next? On spot, there's nothing like leverage. Okay? There's nothing like 10x, 20x, 50, whatever. Nothing like leverage. You just plain buy and sell we have our our 
buy button, our sell button. All right. Available balance, you can see it's there twenty two point seven two dollars. It's on limits. Okay. I'm sure you know about limit and market orders, but I will explain them. They're just the two basic um the two the two basic um CTAs, okay, that we have as regards to sports or even futures trading. We have others like um trailing, you have OCO and co. Now Let's assume I want to buy Solana with everything I have. Let me start with limit order. By limit order, it means, for example, this is the market order, $184.8. That is the value of one Solana. So if I want to buy using limit order, it means I will not be buying at this particular price by limit order it means i'm expecting the price to either go down or go up before i buy or sell so let's say i'm expecting that solana will go down to 180 dollars okay 180 dollars before i buy All right before i buy okay Let me see 180.02. Alright. That is my own um on I'm placing a limit order target here that when Solana gets to this amount and I have placed my order, once it gets to this particular amount, the order will be triggered, whether I'm sleeping or doing whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay. Now you can see here as well. You can see here, okay. It's the same thing you, you know about this as regards to futures 25 percent 50 percent 75 100 percent so if i want to buy with every or everything i have it's on, i'm going with 100 percent if i want to buy with 50 percent i go with that 25 percent so whatever it is you can draw it 10 percent whatever it is okay this is i want to buy with 50 percent are you getting it now with my amount which is eleven point three four dollars. If I buy Solana, the value of Solana I'm going to get will be zero point zero six three Solana. Okay, hope you are getting it. That is that is what I'm going to get because one Solana this is the current price, All right? So now what next? I'm going to click buy. For the sake of this video, I will just let me just buy with 100%. So I'm going to so that I will also do a video on how to sell. All right. So I'll click buy. Limit order. Okay. Let's watch what will happen. Now, since it is limit order, you see my order is there. It is it is not active. It's there until price of Solana gets to this amount. This one right eighty point zero two dollars until you get to that amount that is when my purchase that is when my order will be triggered okay okay good so i'm sure you under you've understood this so i'm going to cancel this so we can do market order so you see the market order will be instant execution so i cancel it all right now now let's go to market order here okay select markets now market order i can still use 100 percent market order simply means the current price of solana at that particular point in time once you make purchase that is the um your order will be filled based on that particular solana current price okay so i'll click on buy You see automatically it to be bought okay automatically it to be bought now i have bought it you're not seeing anything here right so what do you do you can click on assets or you click on asset here all right to see what you purchased assets okay spots 
you see um, Solana. Let me refresh it. Good. You can see it here. This is Solana. So my 22.5 something dollars, they gave me 0 0.121 Solana. All right. So if I want to sell it back, if I want to sell it back, I can click on it, on this Solana again. Hope you get it. I can click here. Just click here. Okay. Once I click here, this place, this page will open up. So what will happen? I, I now have four pairs I can sell my Solana to. I can sell it to USDT, USDC, Euro, or BTC, whichever one. Okay. So now I want to still sell it back to USDT. What do I do? I click on Solana USDT. In this now, I'm going to click on sell and put 100% again. Okay, I click on sell. Sell, it has gone. I've sold it. Okay, so now let me also show you that I've gotten back my USDT. All right, I've gotten back my USDT. I've clicked assets, I've clicked asset again. Now, I if you click on spot now you can see my USDT is back do I had I think I had 22.72 dollars or something but now I have 22.52 dollars which means I lost like um, two cents or so right good and I lost it because first the transaction fee secondly um, I think when I when I bought Solana, Solana was about one, one about one hundred eighty five point um, twenty one dollar. That is when I bought it, and I now sold at one hundred eighty five point one one dollar, which means of course I sold below my um, buying price, which means I got a little loss. All right, a little loss. At the same time, when you when you transact on spot. Okay, even if you are, like for example now, this Solana that we bought and sold. When I, when I sold the Solana, I sold 100%. But yet, I, I still have a little, 0.1 dollar. So most often, when you buy and sell, or sorry, when you sell on um, a token on most centralized exchanges, even if you are selling 100%, there will still be a little fragment, a little fragment that is left. So if you add this zero point one dollar to my twenty two point five six dollar, I still I still have. Let me check my overall. Um, I still have twenty two point seven and six eight dollars, which means twenty two point seven two dollars initially that I had. So when you subtract this from it, I will still I'm um, short of maybe zero point um, four. All right, I'm sorry, zero point one one something. Okay, so maybe one three. So the the loss is, is not is insignificant. So I'm sure with this video you've understood how to buy and sell on Bybit Exchange, especially um, on the sports trade area.